Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a macOS virtual machine on your Linux computer using the QMU emulator. You're going to go to the link in the description, which will bring you to this GitHub page, macOS Simple KVM. Go ahead up here, click on to code and click download zip. Click on to save. And now you're going to see a zip file has been downloaded called macOS Simple KVM. Going to click on the folder icon, right click onto it, and click extract here. Open up that folder, and you're going to go ahead, right click and open in terminal. Type in dot slash jumpstart.sh, and then two minuses and H for help. Now it's going to show you the systems which you can install. Simply replace the help with the system that you want to install. So I want to install macOS Mojave. So I'll be typing minus minus Mojave. Click enter. Now go back to the GitHub page. I'm going to copy the command which you need for your system. So since I'm on Linux Mint, I'm going to be copying this command right here. So it's going to install QMU system, uh, the utilities for QMU, Python 3 and Python 3 pip. So just paste that in. Now copy this command. Paste it in there. Now you have to go into the files, right click basic.sh, open with, and then a text editor of your choice. I'll just choose the basic text editor. Now go ahead and copy this right here. And you have to go ahead and paste that at the end right here. So that it detects the system disk. And while we're in here, you can go ahead and change the amount of cores you have. So I'm going to be choosing four cores and you can put it to have, you can make it have more RAM just so that it runs a bit faster. Now what you can do is simply type dot slash basic dot sh and hit enter. And a new window will pop up from QMU with Clover. Now Clover is a bootloader for macOS. It is a bit outdated. There is a newer one called OpenCore, but this is enough for the virtual machines because it's a very basic virtual machine. I'm going to hit enter so that boots Mac OS. Now, as you can see, it will open up a Mac OS utilities window. You have to go down to disk utility, click continue. Now you're going to see some hard disks, uh, don't do not do anything to macOS based system or the QMU hard disk media uh, that's 163 megabytes big. Go to QMU hard disk media which is not formatted. Click on the erase, give it a name, I'll just call it macOS Mojave and then just leave the format and scheme the same. Click erase and it's going to format it. Click done. As you can see, there will be a new disk called macOS Mojave. I'm going to close disk utility, go to reinstall macOS and click continue. Click continue right here, then click agree and then agree up here. I'm going to click on to the brand new disk that you created and click install. Once it reboots, you're not going to choose boot macOS install from macOS based system. You're going to choose boot macOS install from macOS Mojave, or it's going to say boot macOS install from and then the name of the disk you made. And now after the last reboot, just go ahead to the right and it's like boot macOS from and then the name of your drive.
And there we go. Now macOS has booted. You can go ahead and select your region, your keyboard layout. Now, once once it asks you to sign in with an Apple ID, uh, it won't let you create one. It just won't it'll error out at the end. You can log in with one if you have one, but I never log in. I just click set up later. You accept the terms and conditions and then you can create an account so there we go I don't need a password you can go ahead and edit the picture which you have so I'll just put this I'll just put a penguin and click continue okay enter a password click continue And then you can either customize these settings. I'll just click continue. Uh, you can choose light mode or dark mode. I prefer light mode, so I'll click light. And then it's going to say, saying up your Mac. They don't know it's a VM. <laughs> uh, keyword setup, just click continue and press the key next to your shift button. And click done. And there we go, as you can see. Mac OS is now working. You are now inside of the Mac OS version that you chose. Now, the only problem is that you only have three megabytes of VRAM as the graphics acceleration is not something that you can do inside of a Mac OS virtual machine. You could pass through a second graphics card if you have one. It is a complicated process, but if you simply need a macOS machine for something that you can't do on your Linux machine. For example, if there's a, a recovery program that you need that only works on macOS, for example, then I think that this would be a good alternative than to actually going out and buying a Mac or, ma or actually hackintoshing your computer if all you need is just one program. And yeah, that's all. I wanted to show for today. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it in the comments so I can make my next video better. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next videos, hopefully. Goodbye.